What's up Shark Algo team, in this video we're going to go over every single new feature that's been added into Shark Algo. This will overall be a A to Z course on how to exactly use Shark Algo and use all its features so you know exactly what to do with it. So without further ado, let's get started. I am super excited to get into this, so let's get going. Okay, so everyone knows exactly how to activate the settings page for Shark Algo, but if you don't, let me show you exactly how you can do that. So the simplest way of doing it is simply just going over right over here where it says Shark Algo in the top left corner and clicking the gear icon. This is going to bring up the menu page for Shark Algo where all its features are right there for you to change and edit to whatever you like whenever you're trading. Another way to access it is simply just right click on any of these signals and hit settings. It's going to bring you to the same exact page as you guys can see. Now the first feature I want to talk about for Shark Algo is the buy and sell signals that the algorithm gives you. These signals are going to be used for confirmations for your trades to let you know when to enter or exit a market. Now, very simple, we're going to show you guys exactly how we can edit these signals to make it faster or slower, or a couple of different things. So, signal presets, we have none and trend only. If we select trend only, what's going to happen is that it's only going to give us signals that are aligned with the current trend of the market. So, for example, back over here, the price is a little bearish, so it only gave us these sell signals, as you can see, until the market turned bullish, and then we only got buy signals from there on. Very, very simple to use, and if you're trying to trade only with the trend, this is a very, very good preset that you guys can set up on your charts, and make sure you're always doing that. If you don't want to trade with the trend, always you can take it off and just select none, and it's going to give you all the buy and sell signals and rotations. So it's always going to be buy, then sell, then buy, then sell, and so on and so forth. Next, guys, we have the signal logic. We have two different signal logics now for Shark Ogle. We have the normal signal logic and the pro scalper signal logic. So basically, we now have two different algorithms working together into one indicator, and they both give us different buy and sell signals based on the criteria that the algo looks for whenever each setting has been applied. So for example, right now we're looking at the 15-minute time frame, which is considered more of a scalping time frame. So what we do here is if we want, we can change it to the pro scalper mode, and this should theoretically make the signals on our charts a little bit better. So right now we can see this little area is a little bit cluttered with signals, if we change it to the Pro Scalper mode over here, we can see that it gets a lot better right there. So this can help you avoid some false signals, especially when you're on lower time frames. Now, each one of these signal lodges over here, Normal and Pro Scalper, both have their own sensitivity functions. So if you want to change the sensitivity for the Normal mode, then you simply change the Normal sensitivity. We recommend anything between 10 and 20 for the Optimum sensitivity. And if you want to change the Pro Scalper sensitivity to get either faster or slower signals, then you can change the Pro Scalper sensitivity right down here to either anywhere between 2 and 4 is what I recommend. So if we went down to 2, we can see that the signals will change just a little bit on the chart and maybe give you some faster signals as soon as that algo loads. And as you can see, we got some faster signals again, but we started to get a little bit more of a false signal right down here. So again, I think 3 would probably be a better sensitivity for this specific chart that we're looking at right now. Next, guys, we also have the signal modes over here. We have trend mode, AI mode, trend plus AI. Let me show you guys the difference here between them. So trend mode, all it does is show you only buy and strong signals. It will not show you the strength of each signal. If we take it to the AI mode, then what's going to happen is that it's no longer going to show you strong or buy. It's only going to show you the strength of the signal and whether or not it's a buy or sell. Or we can combine those two together, and what we get is either a regular buy, strong buy, strong sell, or regular sell, and then combine it with the star rating system that we have on the algorithm now. The star rating will go from a 1 all the way up to a 4. 4 will be a stronger signal than a 1. But that does not mean that it's going to guarantee the hit take profit. It just means that it's a stronger signal. I personally like to keep it on trend plus AI at all times but you can do as you choose. If you think that the star symbols are a distraction and you only don't want to use those, then you can go ahead and put it on trend mode only, and it's very simple. Then hitting none will just remove all the signals from your charts if you want to remove all signals from your charts yourself. Very, very, very simple. As you can see, now all the signals are gone from the chart. So moving on from here, we have the agility function right down here. This is basically just a little bit of a tweet that you can use for signals, either make them faster or slower again, if you want to really fine-tune the signals that you get with Shark Algo over here. 
Next, we have the candle coloring system. This, as you can see right now, is changing the colors to better help you understand when the price is bullish or bearish. If the color is extremely bright, that means it's extremely bullish or bearish. And if the colors get a little bit stale, like over here, for example, and over here, for example, that means we are currently in a ranging market where there's no strong momentum to either side. Very, very simple. Next, we have the signal style. We have the normal style or the minimum style. So if you want to have a minimal look to your charts where it's going to change the signal just a little bit, as you can see, as soon as it loads, we're going to have a more minimalistic style on the labels, just like this. So a triangle and a plus would basically mean a strong signal, and a regular triangle would be just a regular signal, if you want to change the minimalistic look on it. Next, we have the market structure over here. This will try to tell us when there's a potential reversal on the market. So as soon as we turn it on, it's going to give us reversal signals on our charts, if the algo thinks that there could be a reversal. So it told us it could be a reversal right here, right here, and right over here. And as you can see, it was on point almost every single time with this feature. Very, very good feature to have and newly included inside the new Shark Algo update. Next up, guys, we have the signal ranging market belter. This will help you take out signals that are happening in ranging markets by simply checking this on. And you can change the settings for it to either look for a bigger time period or a shorter time period for those range of markets. And then we also have the AI strength minimum, which basically means that if you want to make sure that you only take signals that have a three star or higher, you can change it to a three star or higher over here. And then what's going to happen is that it's going to void out any signal that isn't a three star. So all these two and one star signals will go away in just a couple seconds when the algo starts to load here. And as you can see, it did just that as soon as the algo loaded up with the new settings. Okay, next up, guys, is the Echo Cloud over here. We have it checked on. And as you can see, we are getting it this green and red ribbon that's beside our candles right there. This is basically telling us if we're in a bullish or bearish market on the current time frame that you're looking at. So right now, we can see that we had a very bullish market since the ribbon was green, which then turned into a bearish market which then followed by again a bullish market, and then again another bearish market, as we can see right here. This is what this tool tells you, and the radius system pretty much does the same thing, just with a different calculation, so we can use it as extra confirmation for our trades, whether we're taking the buy or sell signals that the algorithm is giving us at a specific time. So as soon as the radius system flows on, now you can see we were in a green market, followed by a short bearish market, and this is how you can basically tell whether you're in a bullish or bearish market by using these two indicators. Next, we have the trend sniper. This is a very fast moving market sentiment. As soon as you can see it, this is again used for confirmations for the buy and sell signals that we are using for this indicator. So for example, let's say you have a trend sniper line that's red and echo cloud that's red and we get a sell signal right here. This could be a good sell signal to take. It's basically just a very fast moving echo cloud that helps you get on the snipes as fast as you can. And then we have the reversal wave zones. This is going to give you areas that the price may reverse at on the chart. As you can see, we're waiting for it to load, and this is exactly where it looks like here. So the further it goes into the red, the bigger chance that there's going to be a reversal. And when it goes into the green, there's a good chance that it could be reversed here as well. Next up, guys, is the dashboard that we see right here in the bottom right corner. Now, this is going to give you a lot of information that you're looking for in the markets. It's going to tell you whether a specific time frame is bullish or bearish. So we can see right now that the five minute time frame on a euro USD would be bearish, followed by a very bullish 1530 and one hour, and then the four hour being bearish and the one day being bullish. So this is going to give you the market sentiment overall across different multiple time frames. And we have different settings that we can apply right here and we see. So for example, right now, the market state is ranging. We are currently in the London and New York session. The volatility is very low. And you can see your current logic and sensitivity right here in the dashboard. This can also be changed for the size and location to have it anywhere on the chart and any size you want. So for example, if this is too big for you, you can put on tiny and it's going to make it a lot smaller. And if you want it in the top right instead of the bottom right, simply select these inner settings and it's going to go ahead and reflect that as soon as the algorithm loads. Now, as you can see, it's in the top right corner and it's extremely small and non-intrusive on your charts.
Next up, guys, we have the color schemes. So if we go back into the settings right here and we go down to where it shows advanced settings, color schemes, these are just different color schemes that we can use and apply on Shark Algo. So if we enter freezer mode, for example, it's going to change the color scheme of the entire algorithm to blue and white, removing the red and green and making it a little bit less psychological because a lot of people will get really emotional when they see a red candle. So this can help you if you're an emotional trader and help you establish, again, better trades and better emotions when you're trading. All right, next up, guys, we are in the risk management section of the algo. So over here, we have our stop loss and take profit levels that we can turn on on our chart. So for example, we see that we have a current buy signal. If we go over here and select the advanced plus entry on the TP and SL labels, then it's going to recommend us a stop loss and take profit levels for that signal that was given right over here as soon as the algorithm loads here in a second. And as you can see, now we have stop loss suggestions and take profit suggestions for this trade. Again, extremely simple. You can also change how far back the stop loss is by changing the setting right here. And this will also adjust to take profit levels alongside the indicator. Next, we also have our TP and SL points. This is extra places that the algo thinks that the chart might reverse and it'll print these with little X buttons, as you can see right here on the indicator. So the price thought that they'll reverse around the section and the price fell. You can use these as take profit points as well when you're trading. Next up, guys, is we have the volume order blocks right down here. Now, this has been turned on the whole time, as we can see. But let me explain these real quick to you because you're super cool. So over here, we see we have the supply levels because it is red. And then this is a demand level because it is green. It also tells you if there's more sellers or buyers in a specific area. So, for example, over here, there was way more sellers than buyers. Same with over here. And then over here, there's a lot more buyers than sellers in this area. And you can use these order blocks and supply and demand levels to get the best entries possible with the signals. Using a signal as soon as a demand level has been given increases your chances that that signal is going to be a good signal. And just like the order blocks, we also have the dynamic support and resistance right over here, which is very similar to the order blocks, but gives you a little bit more different of a look on your chart, giving you levels and sev areas where there was more buyers and sellers on the chart. So people use support resistance all the time for the trades, and it's a tremendous tool that you can use to increase the win rate of your trading whenever you're trading. Okay, now let me show you guys how you can set alerts for Shark Algo. Now, alerts are very important because they can help you never miss a signal. So every single time a new signal has appeared on a chart that you would like to trade and a time frame that you would like to trade, you would get a notification that a signal has appeared. So you can go ahead and check it out and determine if you want to trade that signal or not. Now, however, in order to use alerts, you need to have a TradingView Pro subscription or be inside of our Discord server where we have a preset alerts for you. Okay, so let me show you guys exactly how you guys can set up alerts. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the settings of the algorithm right over here, and then you want to go down to where it shows you the alert section. Now, there's two different types of alerts that we can set up. We have the any function call alerts, or we have the custom alert creator. So now, let's keep it simple, and let's talk about the any function alert call first. So let's say we want a alert every single time there's a buy signal, sell signal, strong buy, or strong sell. All we got to do is simply just click this, this, this and this. So we selected all the signals and then press OK. Now what we want to do is we want to right click on the signal and hit add alert. And over here, we make sure we have it under any alert function call and it's under shark algo. Then we want to click once per bar close or once per bar. I recommend close because we only want to get the alert once the signal is confirmed on our charts. Next, we can choose an expiration date if we want. We can name the alerts and then we can type up the message for the alert that you want to send. And then over here on the notifications tab, you can set where you want to receive that notification. So if you want to receive it on an app, or if you want to receive it through an email or a webhook, or you just want to play a sound if you're already on TradingView, you can do that. Very, very simple to set an alert, and then you just hit create, and then it's going to create the alert for you, just like this. And now let me show you guys how you can create custom alerts for the indicator. So over here, let's go back into the settings. And then you want to go all the way down to where it says custom alert creator. Now, let's say we want an alert for a buy signal, but we only want the alert to 
appear with us if the bicycle has a three star or higher. So over here we would go any bicycle and we minimum rating would be at least greater than three. This means that we are only going to get signals or alerts for signals that have a three star or higher. And we let's say we also want the echo cloud to be green as well. Then we can do that. We can hit create echo cloud. We go to bullish echo cloud. So it's only going to give us the alert if it matches all these conditions. So if there's three stars and if the echo cloud is green. Now we press OK. And then we again, we want to right click where the signal is. We're going to hit add alert. This time we're going to go on custom alert trigger. And now we're going to go ahead and again enter the trigger. So once per bar close, alert name, alert message, and where you want to be notified, then hit create. This is how simple it is to create an alert on Shark Algo to really help you with your trades. And that's pretty much it for the course here. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Or don't be afraid to message one of our admins and Discord server, and we'd be happy to help you. And thank you for joining the Shark Algo team. I hope this helps you with your trades.